Okay, thanks for that. Thanks for, uh, stopping the game for that dialogue right there. It was very, very helpful for me. Um, I don't, I don't really, I don't sympathize with him that we had to, that he had to barf because he doesn't know what we've been through back in Saturn Valley. Like, he doesn't get it. And there's the Kraken. Okay. Let's get to work here. Um, we're just gonna blast it with Frog and hope for the best. I was gonna go back to three and buy and then I forgot. Okay, so Destel's not gonna do anything useful. Let's get Shield and... Wait, is that what I wanna do? You know what? We'll have Dotif do the shield. You just throw Freeze out there. And hopefully that will be helpful. Well then! <laughs> okay! Uh-huh. I have no idea why Kefka survived that and everybody else died. He's got something that reduces damage from fire, and I'm not sure what it is, but if I have to win the battle like this, so be it. There it is! Insta-kill attack! And we have to spend money to go revive everybody. I mean, it wasn't carrying money anyway, which is good. What the hell does he have that... Oh, this flame pendant is what he has. Let's, uh... Give that to seven red. Okay, so I just... That way we have two characters that'll survive the fire breath attack. We gotta spend a whole bunch of money now. Reviving these chumps. And then we have to go back to the ATM and put it all back except for 80. I kind of want the guy to take my picture now. I've got this ghost train happening here. And again, this is another reason why I don't like the whole keep your progress but lose half your money because the asterisk is also everybody stays dead. Yes. Oh, and it doesn't give me my PPs back either, so that's that's that. Oops. Come on, Dada. Alright, um... Dot of got pips, right? Yeah, he got pips. Let's... Buy some bottle rockets. So we're gonna want to pile as much damage on this Kraken as possible. They weren't that expensive either, were they? They were pretty cheap. Let's, uh... Head to three. Quick. I'm gonna see. I do have. I do have my itinerary open in another window. I do I'm using the walkthrough and whatnot. Where can I buy a flame pendant? It doesn't say. It just says flame pendant. Buy price three thousand. Ah. If I could buy another one of those, that would be good. But I can't buy it. Apparently I can't buy it until Saturn Valley at the very end of the game. And so... <coughs> So yeah, let's buy a couple of these.
All right. And now... Back to Summers. Word. And now we gotta hit the hotel. Which is super expensive. 600 a night. Crazy. Well, maybe Dustawolf. Maybe Dusta will finish up the, uh, the thing he's working on. Alright, so I need 680. And I have 344. That tells us we need 336. What I want to know is how did the Sailor Man make it back? Like, did the Kraken not eat his boat? I guess not. Maybe he swam back and built a new boat. And the building of the boat costs $80, and that's why he's going to charge us every time to get on it. So it looks like Kefka can survive most of the attacks that the Kraken can throw at us, except for that Flash Beta. Do I have Flash Beta? I do have Flash Beta. I doubt it works on the Kraken, though. Like, I'll be honest, it's like, that doesn't make any sense. I wonder how useful that actually is in our hands. Like, we know it will work on us every single time the bad guys want to do it. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. For some reason, I forgot this part. Like I said, I have my itinerary open. I just decided to not look at it. Creepy. Yeah, there's stuff to do in the museum back in Foreside, but we're not going back to this museum in Foreside. Wait, Samurai Kid? He does not look like a samurai to me. He just... He looks like a bowling ball with a tentacle coming off of it. Just gonna say it. That's what Dadoff looks like. And there are monsters in this room. Uh, hopefully these guys don't kill me. That would be really embarrassing. Lots of freeze coming out of here. Okay, so they're easy enough. But there's two of them. And a mummy wrap. I wonder what the mummy, mummy wrap is good for. I mean... I could go fight the Kraken now, but fighting these guys is probably the better idea, because Dodoff definitely needs the experience levels. Like, we all need the experience levels. You know, let's just see if I can do it. Flash Beta, that's what killed me last time. Let's see if I'm allowed to kill him with it. Probably not. Well, we're not going to get the chance, because I'm getting bear-hugged by a mummy. Beautiful. What on earth do these mummy wrappings do? This isn't net hack. Are mummy wrappings even useful? Lost Underworld, Deep Darkness, and then... Whatever those numbers meant. Oh, the pyramid is the key. That's good. Did it give me the, uh... What does this do, first of all? Let's start here. The enemy will take some damage and stop moving for a while. That's not going to work on the Kraken. Like, it just won't. I cannot imagine. I'm supposed to get a copy of these hieroglyphs, aren't I? Or do I just have... You know what I can just do is... Make a note of what it... Okay, so it's... Uh, let me write this down. It is... Period... Four... 
three, two, five. Okay. There's a way to get like a rubbing of this or something. Oh, god damn it, he's gonna hand it to me. Beautiful. Okay, so I didn't need to write that down after all. Now we've got it in our inventory. We can look at it, whatever we want. Now we're low on money. My phone's ringing. Wait, the museum guys are Mr. Fork and Mr. Spoon? Game is so wacky, you guys! It came with stickers that smell like hot dogs. I wish I had those stickers still. I really do, because I feel like I could sell those on eBay to a crazy Earthbound fan and make a million dollars. Brain shoe. Ooh, that sounds... This sounds like it has potential. Make one enemy feel strange. You know what? I changed my mind. Okay. Now we can try the Kraken again. So we need two, we need 18, we need $12. Yes. Oh, the sign just outside this shop. It's just here for days and days and days. Like, I guess Dada's whole point is that he starts out really bad. And, like, his stats go up quickly or something, I guess? I don't know. Not that good of a character. Why couldn't you do that against the Kraken? Oh, I guess I didn't try to smash the Kraken. How do I cure paralysis? I guess I gotta go back to the hospital, but it's over on the way anyway, so we can just... Because she's numb, we're just dragging her around. Like she's on ice skates. Hey, man. Soften? Yes. Oh, this is so obnoxious. We have to go back to the ATM, take out $120, and then pay that guy. Oh, we got this at least. So Seven Red can participate in this next battle. Withdraw. He wants 120 <laughs> this video was just so much faffing about. It's insane. We're just not making any progress. We are blocked at every turn by unkillable bosses and crazy NPCs. Wait, what do you mean? Well, how do I fix it then? We have a secret herb. So that can cure anything. Huh. I'm not really sure how to fix her then. Healing Alpha? No, didn't do anything. So... She's paralyzed. What cures paralysis? Dottif also has healing. I don't know. I don't know what else to try. I guess we're going to go back to the hotel and stay the night and hope that fixes it. Because there does not seem to be any other way to fix it. God damn it! Oh, I'm so irritated at Summers. I am done with Summers. I want to get out of here! Now we got two paralysis... Paralysis... Paralyzed people. The super obnoxious. Okay, can we be done now, finally? Get out of the way. I haven't even been in that restaurant. 
Okay, so we're gonna go to the hotel. Oh, you wanted 600 now, didn't you? Yeah, he wants 600 now. So... You need to take out 480. Hopefully the hotel fixes paralysis. With any luck... It didn't! What the hell fixes paralysis, then? Ah! Or does he have equipment that's supposed to protect against that? No, that was the travel charm. Wait! No, it says it protects me from paralysis attack! But he's paralyzed! The goddamn equipment doesn't even work! Oh my goodness! Okay, so what do I do? I don't know what to do here. There's gotta be an item that fixes it for us. Let's go over to the Toto shop where they sell items. There'll be an ATM there, hopefully. Sign? I just, I'm tired of I'm just tired of it. <laughs> and he fell asleep! Oh, this game. We're all gonna be paralyzed by the time we get there. And we're all wearing equipment that says it blocks paralysis, but it actually doesn't, because why would it do the thing that it says? What if I was fighting a boss that relied, like, exclusively on paralysis attacks and said, you know what I could do is use a strategy to equip some stuff that protects me from paralysis and then those attacks wouldn't stick. And then they just stick anyway! There's gotta be something in here that cures paralysis. Let's just take all the money out. There's gotta be something. Secret herb? I guess that's the only thing that we can do. So we could, let's just buy a bunch of these. Like, we need three of these right now. 